All right, so I'm just going to go live for a moment. I um, want to remind everybody that is interested. We're going to have a very cool workshop on possession games. It's going to be April 25th through 28th. It's like a problem solving, understanding, mastering the game all the concepts about what is it for, what is it good for, because uh, it's not just about sport dogs, that's for sure. And the rest, we're gonna, I can answer you some comments if you have questions in the comments. I'm gonna get a little puppy now, it's about four months old. And we're gonna play a little bit. Again, nothing special, but possession game is, for me, the most fundamental, the most important game because it's about it's about something very interesting: competition and cooperation at the same time. When we master that, then we have confidence. So you can apply it with very fearful shy dogs from a shelter, you can apply it with a very dominant and, and difficult dogs, and of course, any kind of sport dogs. So, um, how old is the boy? Four and a half months. Four and a half months, here we go. So we got a little wolf. Hop. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, what a bite he makes. Go back with him if he goes. Nice, that's how we like that. That's how we like that. Wow, carry around. So the workshop is going to be here in Plant City at my place, as you see. Um, any questions, as I said, you can write below. Go back, go back, go praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Yes, and carry. Oh, look at him. He wants his toy. Uh oh. Uh oh. And as I said, it is, it's going to be a lot of problem solving because I, I see all the time people that are trying to play the game, but not understanding really what it's about, not being able to create that instinctual uh, responses from the dog. Oh, Carry boy. again. Good boy. Come on. Good boy quest. It's not... It's, it's equally important, as I said, for any, any dog. But from a trainer perspective, if you're able to teach this, that goes a long way. So on this little guy, imagine if I have to use that eventually as a reward, have the control and have the cooperation, right? Cradle a little bit. Nice. That's his toy. Look at that man. Back off. Make it real just a little. Ooh, ooh. Monster grips. Monster biting. And he wins it all the time, all the time. Wait, wait, wait. And carry that way. Beautiful. Come on, buddy. Oh, good boy. Big man. Big man. 
I know we have limited spots with the dog, but understanding the game, you can get way more by actually observing and listening and asking questions of what is, what is important here than focusing only on your dog. Of course, having a dog in the workshop is <laughs> not a bad thing, but it's not all about that. And stop. Oh, I'm getting him. I'm gonna win this one. I am going to win this one. Or maybe not. Wow, give him direction now, give him direction. Go, 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 give him direction. Tap, tap, not steady pull, but tap, tap. I see trainers trying to utilize the game and the dog is just looking at the game. I don't know what we're playing. It's kind of, there is no real objective. There is no real activity here. And then instead of getting cooperation and motivation, you end up being Stop him, hold him. He... Coming slow. Faster, a little faster. Faster, faster, faster. Boom, and you wait. And he takes it home. Nice, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give him little pops, little pop, pop. So, I'm gonna check the comments later on and uh, try to answer you some questions. Again, for me, the absolute most important game one can play with their dogs, any dog, from a little puppy to any age, any breed. All right, guys, have fun. Good Sunday.